Hello, welcome back to Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Or last episode, we completed the episode one bonus missions, giving us our remaining final two gold brick for the Phantom Menace. Menace? Menace. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the same thing for Attack of the Clones, heading over to the bonus door over on the right hand side of the room, and completing our bonus missions. I've already gone and completed the super story off camera. As you can see, my time was pretty terrible because I. Honest, honestly, honestly, I'll, I'll be honest about this. I started it, and then I heard my render finish in the other room. I went to go finish the render, and then I, in turn, went to upload it. And then I came back, I'm like, huh, probably should have paused this. Ah, right, well, let's see, let's see if we can finish it anyway, and I still finished it with six minutes to spare. But regardless, we're going to do the character bonus and the minikid bonus, starting off with character bonus on Geonosis. Let's do it. Okay, so we start off in the first things first, we're going to be, they're going to find uh, four blue studs on the corners right here. And for the most part, what this level boils down to is riding all the containers around. There isn't much more to it than that. Just there's a bunch of containers you can ride around, the, or not containers, but buckets you can ride around the place. And I'll I'll, 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 I'll show some of those off uh, after I finish off this platform and I'm here. And also, I need to go turn on the uh, cheat code, so I'll make sure to do that after I force you off the platform like that. There you go, power up. Yeah, power ups are also going to be things that can sometimes, or not sometimes, more often than not, they will spawn in these. Uh, and in, the, in these containers right over here. So what I mean by you can ride bucket rounds, if you head over to the far left of the area, you can jump out to this bucket right here, and said bucket is going to take you straight through a trail of purple studs once this thing starts moving. There we go. Just head on straight through this trail of purple studs over here. E even if it is a little bit slow at times, you know, it takes you one by one, it has pauses. But it does get you through this, the studs. Oh, almost forgot the big bunch over here. Look at all these purple studs. And look at that, we're already almost halfway to a million studs. Now, uh, can I get off this thing? Yep, that's pretty much all there is to this level, just, oh, there goes the bucket. Yep, that's pretty much all there is to this level, just uh, move between the, the platforms using the bridges, jump on these buckets whenever they come up, and let said buckets take you through a stream of purple studs to get you up to a million, and we are almost at a million right now. In fact, I think, I think maybe if I get these, in fact, if I, I think if I get these, this, uh, this, this pile alone isn't going to be enough, but if I break open a couple of these, this might be enough to push me over the edge, uh, to, uh, what's it, to... To a million, and yep, there's a million. Nice and easy. Now onto mini kit bonus, Coruscant. Okay, so this level puts you in the skies above the city of Coruscant, just like in the level Bounty Hunter Pursuit. And what you want to do is, with your infinite torpedoes uh, power up enabled, just use the torpedoes on everything in sight, and that's pretty much all you gotta know. There's there's no special tricks to this level. Just use torpedoes, fly around between the skyscrapers, use your torpedoes on everything in sight, and if you keep on doing that, that'll be enough to get you up. To a million studs in due time. In fact, I think if you just sit on this platform, that that alone might be enough to get you up to uh, to get you up to a million studs. But of course, you can go to other studs. In fact, I think I'm gonna go to another one right now just to show that you can use the torpedo there, use one there, maybe maybe another one there, and some and some more over here as well. If you want if you want a free power up, usually if you throw if you shoot a torpedo at these things right here. Most of the time, they're gonna give you power ups. It's been a long time since I've been since I've shot one of those things down with a torpedo and haven't gotten a power up out of it. And this is gonna be enough right here. There's our million, nice and easy. And that's it for this episode. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all later today for some more Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Goodbye.